Now, from the iconic role of Mary in the phenomenon that was Glen Road to Rose the, in the evergreen fair city, Geraldine Plunkett has been one of Ireland's favourite TV actors. Also an extremely accomplished and successful stage actor, Geraldine is appearing in the Bialthana Festival in Noel Brown's play Creaking, which challenges the assumptions about what people of a certain age are supposed to conform to. Good morning to you, Geraldine. Morning, Geraldine. Morning. Morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. We'll get to Creaking and the Bialthana Festival in a moment, yeah. but as soon as I see you and as soon as most of our viewers see you, we instantly go back to Mary and Glen <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with that? Are you I'm used to that? Absolutely fine. And people say hello, Mary, and I say hi. Do they really? Oh, still? they do still. They still. And I think, gosh, they still recognise me. My hair's grey and everything else, but it doesn't matter. I suppose I've grown old in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> But it was an incredible, you said it in the intro, Simon, <coughs> yeah. a phenomenon, wasn't it? I know, you were probably all looking at it when you were two. <laughs> Not at all. Well, it did divide the office yesterday between the young and the rest of us, to be honest, because one of our researchers went, what was Glen Rowe? I never saw it. Of course, how was it? Oh, they? my God, I feel but, old. But then Fair City. Yes. Like, from one behemoth of a show to another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And are, are there similarities, Ger, in terms of the filming between the two? Um, well, Glenrow, when we started off, was much more, with much more rehearsal time. And because it was on location mm. and because it wasn't four-week kind yes, of thing, yeah, yeah. it was much more leisurely, you know. Yeah. Um, whereas Fair City is... There are four episodes a week and um, it's, it's much more intense. Having said that, it's actually, in a kind of a contradictory, terribly relaxed. Mm. I thought when I went in that it would be terribly pressurised. Yeah. You know, but actually it isn't. Everybody seems very on top of it and relaxed. The crew are gorgeous, the cast are terrific, and it's there's, fine. There, there, uh, there's always this uh, picture of, of, of doing soap um, that because it's a machine and because there's so much to shoot, yeah. that the actors aren't going to get an awful lot of time on the floor. Like if you to have another go at it, because when you're doing a film, or even when you were doing Dan Rowe, if you if you weren't happy with the take, you can you, you can could, ask the director, yes. "Can I have another go?" Yes, you but could. you do get that on well, Fair City. Well, you do <clears> actually <throat> get it on Fair yeah. City. In, um, you know, and if something goes wrong, something goes wrong. Yeah, but they yeah. do it again, and there isn't. I thought, oh my God, they'd be tearing their hair out, but not at all. No. Somehow or other, the work all gets done in a yeah. in a very in a calm, controlled way. The I don't know how they, it is all they about do it. The people, isn't it, and the team it, around it is, you and that it is. camaraderie. It is. And of course, you have to have your lines learned, obviously, as you know. You can't just. Wing it. It's never stopped me, Jeremy. <laughs> 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 I'd be he reading him in the car in the way. In. Not at all. I'm very professional. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Let's talk about uh, the play. Creaking. Creaking. Mm. Uh, it sounds like an interesting device. Tell us what's different about it. It's a, it's a one-woman show, but... It is a one-woman show <clears throat> in the sense that <clears throat> the woman, Rita, is telling her story. And basically, she has two children whom we don't see, but the volunteers... I say volunteers because they're volunteer groups of people who, in each venue that we go to, will perform, read. Well, actually, it's a, it's a rehearsed reading, mm -hmm. but with music and with action, you know, but mm -hmm. we're, we're not, we haven't had learnt off by art. Thank God I don't have to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> but people forget that you have the script in your hand, I have to say, they do, when yeah. we do it. But um, they play all the other characters, but Rita is the, is the main character, and she's... Uh, back plot is that she has been in the supermarket and got in chatting to somebody who has nip, um, nicked her bag. Not her bag, her purse. And then she hasn't got it. And her son and daughter, because she's elderly and a widow, get all excited and they don't want her to go shopping on her own and all of this kind of thing. And um, it's just her. She's much younger inside and she does go and shop, and then she meets this man. That sounds like as if just meets a man. It's not as simple as that or as mm. cliched as that. Yes. And they form, well, <clears throat> I won't say a relationship. I'm not going to tell you the plot, but it just develops on. And um, she, she has this great life inside, mm. and she does things that her son and daughter don't know anything about. Uh, and the whole premise is that inside we're dancing. Yeah. yeah. No matter what we and look And in terms of the people who are... Perform performing it with you. Mm. Are they are they members of local amateur dramatic groups, or not, are they or is it sprung on the audience? Is it audience members, or do they no, have no, preparation? No, it's not sprung. No, we we do <clears> rehearse <throat> it in each right. venue, okay. and they would be local volunteer groups. They could come from an amateur dramatic. They could be anything. Yeah, groups yeah. of anything, you know. And there would be one man in it because he's essential, obviously, yeah. and the rest are women. 
But I think there's a it's lot very of funny. people and viewers even this morning who will identify with the feeling of getting older but still wanting a little bit of excitement in their life and yet the adult yeah. children are kind of telling her that maybe she's not able or exactly. that she can't function properly. Exactly. And we're probably all the same. I mean, I remember when my mother was getting older, you know, and her, she wasn't that well. But you've got to let people take risks right up to the day they die, don't you? Yeah. you know? The festival, Geraldine, mm. the Elton Festival, Tell us a, a little bit about that in terms of why you got involved and, and what the festival does. Is it a nationwide festival? Exactly? It is a nationwide festival <clears throat> and it's 22 years old this year. And it's yeah. May and it's called Bialthana, which is May, mm -hmm. which is the start of the start of life, yeah. or you know, I mentioned the S uh, word, the, the start of summer. <laughs> well, uh, yes, yeah. yes, and also, and um, it's really celebrating creativity in older age. That does not necessarily mean that everybody who's older has to be a professional yeah. artist in yeah. whatever genre. It means that you can be creative in all sorts of ways. And a great leader in the movement are the local library, or the websites. They have a website. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I don't know what it is, I'm sure you doubt yeah, it. We'll pop it up yes. on the website. Yeah. And also local libraries are great at telling you all the kinds of things that are on. Now, I was asked to five, six years ago to be a, an ambassador. And I said, what's an ambassador? And basically, because <laughs> I didn't know of Bialth, and you just sort of, I went to as many things as I could. And I was absolutely amazed at the range of stuff. Yeah. I mean, book clubs are a cliche, if you like that. There were all sorts, all sorts of things happening in libraries. And the great thing is that it's such a social event. Well, the There's key is participation. Everywhere. Yeah, and that participation. Comes, you know, and that comes through, particularly in this piece that you're doing. Yes. Because it, it's yes. not just you, you're involving a, a bigger group of people. Right, and when we did it in Newbridge, which we did a few months ago as a trial, and it went extremely well, and people, it was very funny as well. Yeah. But we all had such fun, yeah, myself yeah. and all yeah. the other actors, yeah. you know. <laughs> and I think that the whole, another thing about Bjelthen is to work against isolationism, because some elderly people you know, they sort of sit back and, you know, inside they're much, much more vibrant when you can get out and go to things or be involved. But if they don't things, play golf, Geraldine, or they don't go to the local book club, they can feel isolated they can, very quickly, they particularly can. if they're widowed, I suppose. Exactly. So this is about libraries, art galleries. You don't necessarily anything, have to be anything. an esteemed actor no, like yourself. No, no, crafts, anything. There's thousands of things mm -hmm. and each individual place around Ireland has their own um so the like the local group. library yeah, would yeah. know okay the, you know a calendar of events yes exactly there's masses of stuff so where are you off on the tour where are you taking the play well next Friday is it, what day is today or Saturday today is Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Yes. the yes. clues in the title Jared <laughs> Saturday a.m. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <God>. my love <laughs> <laughs> next Friday uh, we're in Glore in Ennis. Lovely, beautiful yeah. theatre. Yes. Beautiful, yes, beautiful theatre. Yes. Then you go to Cork, Waterford, Dublin, few, few gigs in Dublin, Mayo and Sligo. That's so right, yes. Covering yes. a fair bit spread, of the country. Spread over, over um, the so month of May. So in the venues that you're going to, say next week you're in Glore, have they been rehearsing down in Glore ahead uh, of not, you? Not yet. Oh, uh, no, but a week yet. to go. Uh, what? Yes, a week to go. Oh, well, it's, yeah, well, you say, don't forget we've the switch clutch to our hands. I know, but hands. still, but still. There is the, it's kind of a security blanket. It's isn't a security it? Yes. yes, no, but that's the that's the premise of the whole thing. Yes, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And um, no, but they will rehearse all day. Very mm. good. The local the, and I'll be down early as well, and we'll all rehearse all day, and then the show is at night. You know. Brilliant idea. But I think know. I think the audience idea. gets so involved in the story they don't even notice they the script. Notice no, they the don't. Script. They I mean, I'm sure you've done play readings as well as I have over the years, and after a while. People don't even notice the script. They Not say, oh, did you? You know. Yeah. When the, when the story so, is that good. Because we're so brilliant. Well, yeah. that's it. <laughs> brilliant I'll give, I'll give him a kick for you later, Geraldine, <laughs> OK? <laughs> Thanks for Thank coming in, Geraldine. Okay, yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you.